Demo 6.2 Review Work Center Data. In this demo, we will review the data contained in the Work Center. Use the SAP Easy Access menu to navigate to the transaction to view the Work Center master data. Alternatively, enter the transaction code CS03 in the command field to directly access the transaction. In this demo, we will navigate to the transaction using the SAP Easy Access menu. Begin by clicking on the arrow next to Logistics to expand the menu. In the Logistics menu, expand the Production menu. In the Production menu, expand the Master Data menu. In the Master Data menu, expand the Work Centers menu. In the Work Centers menu, expand the Work Center menu. In the Work Center menu, select the CR03 display transaction. In the initial screen for transaction CR03 display Work Center, you must enter a plant. Click the search icon to the right of the plant field to display a list of plants. The system displays a list of available plants. Select Dallas Plant DL00 and click the Enter icon. Next, we will select a work center. Click the search icon to the right of the work center field to display the search screen. Click the Enter button to display a list of work centers in the Dallas plant. The system displays a list of the available work centers in the Dallas plant. Select the ASSY 1000 work center and click the Enter icon. The required fields are now complete. Click the Enter icon to display the work center that you have selected. The system now shows the Display Work Center Basic Data screen. The data are grouped into several tabs, Basic Data, Default Values, Capacities, Scheduling, Costing, and Technology. The Basic Data tab is selected. Click on the Search icon in the Work Center CAT field to view the available Work Center CAT options. The system returns a list of all the possible options for the Work Center CAT field. Click the Close icon to return to the Basic Data screen. Next, click the Search icon next to the Usage field to display the possible usage options. The system displays a list of the available usage types. Click the Close icon to return to the Basic Data screen. Next, click the Default Values tab. The Operation Default Values tab displays data relating to the operations in the Work Center. Click on the Search next to the Control Key field to display the Control Key data. The system displays the different Control Keys, their description, and related information. Next, click the Scheduling tab. The Scheduling tab displays data that relate to the scheduling of tasks in the Work Center, such as setup and teardown formulas. Click on the Search icon next to the Capacity Category field to view the different capacity categories. The system displays the available capacity categories. Click the Close icon to return to the scheduling screen. Click in the Capacity field when the Search icon is displayed. Click it to view the different capacity options. Next, click the Enter icon to display a list of capacity data. The system displays two separate categories, one for machine capacity and one for labor capacity. Click the Close icon to return to the scheduling screen. Click on the Costing tab. The Cost Center Assignment screen displays data related to the cost elements that are associated with the Work Center. These data include the Controlling Area and the Cost Center. 
Click on the search icon next to the Controlling Area field to display the Controlling Area options. The system displays available controlling areas, GBI Europe and GBI North America. Click the close icon to return to the Cost Center Assignment screen. Click on the search icon next to the Cost Center field to view the available cost centers. Type star 000 into the Cost Center field. Next, type US00 into the Company Code field. Click the Enter icon to display a list of cost centers. The system displays a list of all of the cost centers within the specified company code. Click the Close icon to return to the Cost Center Assignment screen. The system displays the Cost Center Assignment screen. Demo 6.2 Review Work Center Data